Greetings, I'm Dr. Pang Hong Wu from Ang Tiang General Hospital. This patient presented to me six months ago with a severe right sided sciatica as well as bladder and bowel incontinence. His examination shows that he has a right plantar weakness of power 3 and also perianal. Uh, decrease in perianal sensation and numbness. He has a high retention of urine and presented to us with an acute cauda equina picture. He has a large prolapse in the vertebral disc compressing on his cauda equina as we can see from here. He underwent an emergency right sided lateral recess decompression and interlaminar discectomy all done endoscopically we perform intraoperative fluoroscopy with uh, injection of a dye and a dock on the spinal lam uh, on the laminal facet junction perform a full endoscopic decompression and we switch to an interlaminar scope and perform the endoscopic uh, sequestrectomy. Six months post operation, this is the MRI. Before that, this is the disc that is removed intraoperatively, and this is the wound. Of the patient uh, through the 1cm incision. He recover his bladder and bowel function post-op 7 days, perianal sensation return post-op 6 weeks. His sciatica was immediately a uh, relief of his pain in the leg. This is a post-op MRI 6 months, you can see that the sequestrated disc has been completely removed. And what is interesting in this case is that you can see from the L5S1 disc, actually there's an improvement in terms of firman grading, in terms of there is a pre-operative as you can see from the right side besides the prolapse in the vertebral disc there's a decrease in signal in T2 or post-op there's a improvement in the T2 signal this probably should be evaluated further in further studies as an interesting phenomenon that I've seen in many of my endoscopic patients. In the post-operative MRI, one more thing to highlight is that there is good facet preservation. As you can see, that both the right side and the left side facet joint is largely intact. We only need to remove a sliver of the inferior and superior reticular facet to completely remove the flavum and get access to the disc. So this is a good surgery to preserve spinal stability. Overall, the patient have good outcome and he's went back to he has gone back to work. Thank you.